Hello everyone, and let me start off by saying Merry Christmas. I'm Pastor Tim Howard, AKA the Chapel Guy. And uh, for the past uh, 22 years, I've been doing this little chapel on the candy cane. That's why I have this gigantic candy cane with me. Uh, I just wanted to share with you a little bit of the story and how it starts. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Christmas verses is found in Galatians 4, starting in 4. It says, when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a virgin, born under the law. Uh, this aspect of it, it, perfect timing, 2,000 years ago, God sent his son. And that's a big deal because Jesus, eternal, was in heaven and yet left that for us and became a human being just like us. Well, the story goes that there was a candy maker and he wanted to make a special candy for Christmas to celebrate Jesus. So he came up with this idea of the candy cane. And let me explain to you all the aspects of it so that hopefully when you have a candy cane this Christmas, you can think about this and, and maybe even share the story. Well, the first thing is, is uh, when you turn a candy cane upside down, it becomes a huge J. And as we know, J is the first letter in the name Jesus. Uh, he also made it out of rock candy. If it was hard, candy canes are hard. This is to remind us that Jesus is the rock of our salvation. He's the foundation. We can rest in him because he did it all. The next, we have some stripes here. You can see some stripes. Well, let's see. The red stripe, the red stripe represents his blood. The Bible tells us that it's because of blood that our sins are washed away. By his blood, uh, he washed away our sins. Uh, then we have a white stripe, and the white stripe represents Jesus' holiness, his purity, the fact that he, unlike us, he never sinned. He was holy. Uh, there's another narrow red stripe, and that narrow red stripe reminds us the fact that Jesus died on a cross for us to pay for our sin. He gave his life, and the scriptures say, by his stripes, we are healed. Uh, and then, again, you know, a candy cane is made out of peppermint. Well, peppermint, that's similar to a, a biblical herb called hyssop. Well, hyssop was part of the mint family, and it was used during times of purification and sacrifice because we all like that peppermint taste. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, um, we can break it off. We can break it off and we can share it with someone and uh, just like we share the story, the fact that God loves us so much that he sent his son. And on Christmas, we celebrate that. Uh, I pray that as you go into the Christmas season that you have a great Christmas. I can't wait to be back in chapel. Uh, maybe next year, maybe when we start the new year so that we can do some of these chapels together. But uh, for now, again, I wish you Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoy your candy cane and I hope that you're able to share this story with someone in your family. Merry Christmas.